as the series progressed, I was, you know, I, I was kind of up to date with the training, and mm -hmm. so I was able to do more than than, than maybe in, uh, in earlier scenes. But I, I'm quite lucky in this regard. I really enjoy uh, the, the, all the physical aspects of, 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 of making a film, and, and I'm and I'm luckily I'm 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 quite quite good at picking up, um, you know, uh, the moves. Um, I can usually do a, you know, because I, I have to learn them on the day. We, we normally don't have time to rehearse, you know, days before. So I'm, I'll try, normally try and pick up six to ten moves at a time. We'll film that from a couple of different angles, and then we'll move on and stuff. And then, of course, I have my st amazing stunt double, Chris Brewster, who 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 will every now and again throw in a 360 double flip kick that <laughs> I didn't even know people could do. So I don't do those ones. Can you tell us a, a bit about the uh, the intense uh, sequence in the hallway? Like, how was oh it? Oh yeah. 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 So, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. How much so I did all of that. <laughs> <laughs> how much so did you do before and then like leading up to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember reading that in the script and having to kind of go through it very, very slowly and be like, wait, how is this going to work? What is this going to look like? Um, it, it was a, it was a, you know, it was a really a very magical day because it was the coming to, the, it, it was one of the last days of the first. We we shot, we block shot the first two episodes, one and two together with the um, Phil Abram was the, was the director, and it was one of the last shoot days of that, and we had the whole day dedicated to it. The first half of the day was uh, was just the camera movement, just the camera um, going back and forth and making sure we got all uh, all the angles and where it's supposed to be and you know it's very very tricky because because every single hit has to sell on camera if one is missed the, sh the whole shot doesn't work I think we did 12 takes and I think three of them were usable and one of them was fantastic <laughs> um, and when and we watched that back when it finally happened you know midway through one of them Chris took a knock to the head and we weren't sure he was going to continue um, but uh, but it was wild because the way that we, we we did it you know I walk in and then I go in a door and I quickly hide and he he continues and he comes out and then I run right down the back of the set and I come in and do a little bit and then I'm out another way and then he goes in and I come back out with the kid and uh, and uh, you know it, it was it was and then it was pretty it was pretty spectacular. I just love that it just keeps going. You're like, oh my god, this is so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's, I think, with, with the, the the luxury of the time that we have. You know, when you're doing thirteen a thirteen hour movie, almost. You know what I mean? You get you get to really take that time, not only just with the fights, but with everything. You know, with the development of the suit, with the development of the characters, and the the idea, and the back and forth, and the stress and 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 you know of of going am i doing this you know it's like yeah. that's the thing that i i'm i'm so um moved by when i think about the hero's journey you know and someone who decides to take on and be someone who says i'm gonna you know vigilante justice is my calling mm -hmm. you know i'm it's it's not something that just happens once you know you don't go okay i'm a fireman i'm a police officer like you have to put that suit on every day you know what i mean at any point you can walk away and the fact that this person keeps you know gets back up and, and tries again and throws that punch again. You're just like, ah, oh, yes, you know, that's really exciting. And you know, they're doing it and they're, and, and like a police officer or, or a fireman, like they're just, this is a normal person. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't, there's no radioactive spider, you know, bite <laughs> or, you know, alien father or anything else to kind of like play iron, with. Like iron suit or magic iron hammer. Iron suit yeah. or magic hammer. Yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> there's like, there's none of those different things to kind of take you out. It's like, you know, no, that's just, that's, oh, God, that sounded painful. Yeah. And the person looks like it was painful. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that's good. You know, and that, that, that to me makes it really, um, as you know, it's, it's fantastical, it's comics, it's all that kind of stuff, but it makes it very real. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think that's going to be, you know the difference. You know it's PG-16. We get to go there. <laughs> <laughs> and is so. that sort of why, like, you know, like your character had like that idea to? Oh, sorry, like tongue tied here. Um, how did that motivate your character to like choose to help Matt and to sort of like you know justify that you're like aiding this person who's doing like some great area justice? Right. I know. I like. I like. I like that. You know, that's our tagline. You know, justice is blind. And and you know, and I think how we even imagine what that looks like, you know, we have blinders on about what, what, how to get to these different things. And so, you know, when you're really talking about sol you know, helping here, in, in a lot of situations, it's a lot to get someone to even call 911, let alone jump in and try to protect somebody or, or put themselves in danger for the sake of someone else. So I think, you know, she has in her own background for what she does, you know, she's used to being in emergency situations. She's used to going in and trying to help, but she's usually patching people back up. She's not patching them back up so they can go back out and get scrappy again <laughs> and so that's a really interesting thing because she believes in him and she believes in what he's doing but it's definitely confronting 
and not and challenging for her to to accept. But I think that's the amazing thing. And you know, hopefully, especially as you go through the series, you'll see a lot of people confronted with what they think they know and how things should be, and and then looking at the 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 gritty, dark, not black and white, very gray reality that that um, things won't always fit into the perfect box that you want it to. So how do you contil continue to still fight for and stand? in the position that you want to, which is being a hero. Well, you know, that's why it makes them reluctant heroes, you know, because it isn't easy and isn't perfect, but that's what makes them heroes, because they mm -hmm. keep doing it. And that's, and I think that's what she graduated, you know, right now she's, she does heroic things, but I, you know, I think she's definitely moved by who he is as a person and, and recognizes in herself, like, could I be doing more? And that's, that's, I'm, I'm curious to see how people react to that. Because I think it's a very it's a it's a subliminal question, but I think it's a very real question that is presented with the show. Zara, you've done obviously a lot of independent films throughout your career. Mm -hmm. Even though this is obviously Marvel, but with the Netflix aspect to it, was there a sort of an independent feeling on set, kind of like we're taking all this time to really tell this story and not just rush it and really give you a lot of freedom as an actress? I thought it was. So, I, I loved that. I like. I loved that idea of like in the like the form, like you know, st long sto uh, st story form of comics that we got to explore it and take our time. I really liked that. I think that 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 to me plays it to my strengths. So I think I, I do much more realistic kind of. I like to be very grounded, and and so it was so fun for me to be showing up and and just talking to other people, and they're like Daredevil here, you know, and just this idea yeah. of what they were thinking of like it being and having all of that joy and fun, but knowing I was going and actually getting to do good work, like real connection, real drama, real comedy, real action, real like just but very real feeling, you know, this idea of like. Wow, what is that? You know that 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 drives people to 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 not take the easy route. Like who who like who does that? And why and why does it look so scary? You know, like why you know this hero is doing things that makes you cringe and and feel uncomfortable. And and this you know bad guy is actually someone who I sympathize with. Mm -hmm. Like that's it gets very confusing and gray. And I I like that because again I, I you know not, not just independent film but I do a lot of stuff in activism yeah. and awareness building and stuff. And that's the part that I always try to show people. It's very compelling. You know it's it's not. It would be so easy if evil looked like somebody in the corner with a mustache going hey hey hey. Like <laughs> it would be erad eradicated from our planet if it was so simple. You know and it, so it's not. It's much more complex and people there's a lot of choices to be made all throughout and I think that's going to be really fun for people that's what you get to explore in a show like this where it's not just fast action just right. jump into the spandex kill the bad guy and you know have the nice big you know silhouette moment it's like no it's they're stumbling and falls and I'm sure the blooper reel is going to look amazing <laughs> and Charlie, like, did you, you know, feel that way too on. that there was a lot of freedom for you as an actor on set to create this character Oh, yeah, Marvel were incredibly generous and with, mm -hmm. with 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 uh, and trusting with 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 the character. They, you know, they were very vocal about saying, you know, like we've chosen you and 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 based on the work that you did in the auditions, but now take it and 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 run with it and find find your own way. And I think it was important because I think that you do, you know, the, over the course of the sixty years that the, the, the you know sixty years plus that the, the Daredevil has been in print, you know, the character has changed a great deal. You know, he's changed not just visually but also the way he speaks and operates. You know. The time and 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 um, and I think that the, the danger is to try and please everyone. I think you have to be very you have to choose your specifics and 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 uh, and, um, and find the consistencies in, in order to make him to make him a real person, a fully rounded person. And and so um, I couldn't be I couldn't be more pleased with how Marvel how Marvel were, were were accepting of me and trusting the character over to me. Yeah. In the comic books, Claire Temple has ties to a lot of other Marvel characters, including Luke Cage. Mm -hmm. Is there any possibility we might be seeing you on some of the other Netflix series? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel Marvel's calling. There's this weird buzzing that's happening in my ear. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, I, I, that was actually one of the things that totally drew me to it. I just, I love the fact that, you know, when you're playing with Marvel, you're playing with the Marvel Universe, and that means anything could happen. And um, that's very exciting. And just the fact that I'm playing Claire Temple, night nurse and you're getting that, you're already knowing something's happening. Something's being tweaked, something's being played with. And so that's good. I like the question mark <laughs> yeah. that comes with do that. You know who a little Claire enigma. Yeah. What? Do one. you know? <laughs> Tell us. No. But do you know it? Rosario, do you know who? No, actually, Claire's I didn't think about it. No, they I hadn't thought you. about. It. No, they didn't tell me. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I believe All it. Right. Okay. Did, did, did you had a question. <laughs> you uh, know, I take it. No. Know. 
I'm on camera right now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, but, uh, a lot of this stuff was already answered, but uh, I guess just kind of general, like if you had to choose one scene from uh, any of the episodes you shot so far to like embody the show that you would tell people about this is what the show's about, what would you choose? I, I, actually, I, I, if you won't mind, I'll step in here really yeah. quickly. One, one of the, there's a scene at the very end of four between you and I, and I remember when I read that scene, it gave me goosebumps. I was like, that's, there's a moment, you guys have seen? We've seen mm -hmm. up to four. Yeah, yeah, and so you'll know which moment I mean, but there's a little moment where you're in the, in the garage, and just before, and the lights go out, and you say, you want to know his name, ask him yourself. And I just remember thinking, that's the kind of show I want to be in. That's the coolest, that's one of the coolest moments. It's so badass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, thank you. Awesome, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.